Hey there, it's Colleen Sedgwick from Pet Nanny Coach, a company I created to help pet sitting business owners get more clients, make more money, and ultimately enjoy the freedom that they so deserve. So today is a fun blog post. I'm going to give you guys my favorite six books that have changed my life and helped me and my business. So the first one, when I was trying to figure out, because I I love to read and I've got a ton of really good uh, books, I was like, oh, which ones should I choose? And I was going through and I came across this one. It's an oldie, but a goodie. So um, the woman that ended up becoming my business coach um, later on in life after I started my business uh, recommended this book. And not directly to me, but to her tribe. Um, you know, I started getting her e-zine when I was new to business. And, you know, this was something she told us all to read, raving fans. Um, I ended up reading it. And when I came across it, I was like, oh, my gosh. This was like this was like life-changing for me. Because in pet sitting, we have a customer service business. And understanding the importance of customer service and really wrapping your brain around that um, was huge in me making a big leap in my business. So, uh, yeah, the woman who ended up telling me to read this ended up becoming my business coach later in life and actually told me to read it again. And I was like, hey, I've been following you forever and you told me to read it years ago. So I thought that was kind of funny. But Raving Fans by Ken Blanchard and Sheldon Bowles. Um, satisfied customers just aren't good enough. They need to be raving fans that will tell everybody all over town about how awesome your pet sitting service is. So, do do read this. Okay, number 2 is la 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 la. This is The Law of Divine Compensation by Marianne Williamson. And as you can see, it's like all dirty and crazy because I read this pretty much on a weekly basis. I keep this in my nightstand. Uh, I make notes in it. I highlight it um it's like it's like an old friend whenever i'm feeling like i need a little a a little lift um i pull this out i read a passage and it does wonders for me so um the law of divine compensation by marianne williamson marianne also gives a live a free live stream every single tuesday night that i log into um i log into i tune into and if I can't be there live, then they send you the replay link. But she is amazing, um, has taught me so much about um, spirituality, my spirituality. And she's amazing. So Marianne Williamson, The Law of Divine Compensation, changed my life. Third book, I don't actually have the book. I don't know why I don't have the book because I'm obsessed with the book and I send it to all my private clients. It's called The Big Leap by Gay Hendricks. Um, and this was all the big gurus, all the big business coaches. I mean, they all have this on their reading list. And when I first started, I was like, okay, I got to read this. And when I first started reading it, I was like, this is just a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo. Like, totally wasn't into it. Totally didn't believe it. And then I was like, holy cannoli. Like, it just kind of hit home. And basically what it's about, it talks about an upper limit problem which we all have. Um, We just all have different thermostats. It's like how we're wired inside. And each of us can only get to a certain point of happiness when we'll start self-sabotaging because we like to stay at this certain temperature or below. And we don't like to go above that temperature. That's a very, very quick summary of it. But when you see yourself doing it, you're like, oh my. It was crazy. It was good. So that is a big one. And I absolutely need to reread it. For sure. All right, so that one is The Big Leap by Gay Hendricks. Um, The fourth one, I also don't have it with me, is Ask and It Is Given by Abraham Hicks. And again, on spirituality and mindset, you know, that's my thing. But in terms of like getting ahead in business and in life and in relationships, um, these books have been amazing to me. Uh, Abraham, I think the website's abraham-hicks.com. And I actually sign up for their, they have a weekly, or I'm sorry, a daily email that I've been getting for years and years and years and years and years and years and years. And I get it every morning and I read it every single morning. But the book is called Ask and It Is Given, Abraham Hicks. The next one does not have to do with mindset. This is Profit First by Mike Michalowicz. Um, I am not the best with money. It's a 
put it lightly, but I'm going to try to stay positive, right? I shouldn't say I'm bad with money. I have gotten really, really, really much better, sorry, I say, with money because of this book and setting up my business and, you know, setting money aside automatically. And this all has to do with Profit First. Every single business owner should read this. And then they also have a section in here, Profit First for Life, which I'm trying to institute in my own life with my husband, which is difficult because you got to be um, – you know, disciplined or whatever. But Profit First by Mike Michalowicz. He also wrote The Pumpkin Plan and The Toilet Paper Entrepreneur. So if you're really new to business, also great reads by him. He's got a great website. He's got a great podcast. Um, this guy knows it. And he's got a great personality that I'm super attracted to. But Profit First, I promise I'm actually going to do like a, a video blog for you on this topic. Uh, definitely, because it's that important. Okay? But get the book. It's good. All right, so back to mindset. I know, but this is a new this is a new one I just read, and I loved it so much. I actually got the audiobook first, so I'm very big with Audible because I don't really have a lot of time to sit down and read as much anymore as I used to. I do have time to listen to Audible in the car. So this one was originally an Audible download that I listened to, and I loved it so so much that I bought the hard copy, and I also keep this in my nightstand and pull it out and will read. Um, and we'll read sections of it. It's just so good. Gabby Bernstein is amazing. She's got an awesome website. She's got lots of free information on her site. But, um, you know, hopefully you're into mindset as much as I am. If not, you're probably not that into listening to me anyway. But I just feel like these type of mentors and books have done wonders for me. So I want to share them with you. So the universe has your back. Love you, Gabby B. Mwah. She also has a weekly uh, email that comes out, video blog that's very good, very short videos like these. Um, but yeah, so those are my six books. I hope you like them. I hope you read them or listen to them. And if after reading you have any questions, comments, or feedback, I'd love to hear how it went for you. All right, so happy reading, and I am wishing you a great day. Take care.